So in this lesson, we're going to take a look at subdivision surfaces in Cinema 4D Release 16. I'm just going to create a simple cube, and I'm going to create a subdivision surface. And I'm going to make this cube a child of the subdivision surface. So we get this uh, view. I'm just going to make this cube editable, so you can hit C or we can click here, to make it editable. And I'm going to go to display Gorad shading lines so we can see the polygons. Now, um, what we can do is we can basically turn on uh, STS cage. And if I just go into vertex mode, we can see the original mesh here and the subdivided result. And if I just go to select, I can't actually click any vertexes on the cage. I can only click on the final geometry and move vertexes this way. So this is the Maya way of uh, editing uh, subdivision surfaces. So alternatively we can go to options and turn off isoline editing and then this way we're uh, literally selecting vertexes on the original mesh and then watching the result. And if I just turn off SDS cage um, and go to isoline editing off, that uh, SDS cage disappears. And we can bring the cage back. So two different modes of working, isoline editing enabled or disabled. So next I'm going to right click and I'm going to use the knife tool. And I'm going to set the mode to loop. I'm going to turn off restrict to selection and I'm just going to add a subdivision into my um, original geometry which is the cube so I'm just going to click here and as you can see uh, we get a rounded bottom for that final subdivision uh, geometry if we add another subdivision it's going to flatten out uh, another useful shortcut key is basically if I just go to uh, line mode here go to the select tool, choose this edge. If I hold down a period, which is the full stop button on the keyboard, and then mouse drag, it kind of pulls out uh, that vertex from the middle towards the original geometry. And if I hold down period, which is the full stop button, shift, and then do the same, we get the entire edge kind of moving back to the original geometry. So if I choose this edge and hold down period shift and then click and drag, uh, we can pull out this side towards the original geometry. So period and period plus shift and then click and drag. One last thing to note is um, basically when you render, sometimes the result is different from what you see in the viewport. And that's because uh, the editor subdivisions and the render subdivisions are different. So you probably want these to kind of match up uh, for each. And then this way there's no uh, surprises when you go to render. And you'll notice this uh, tag created here, which is basically uh, the surface weight. So um, yeah, this basically just gives us kind of weighting information. And we can actually um, change the subdivision. Not sure why you'd want to, but um, so right now I've got four, four here, and then here we can actually change it into uh, something else, like maybe even five, five. So it's an interesting option. Um, so that's yeah, a quick uh, introduction to subdivision surfaces in the new Cinema 4D release 16. Uh, please share this on Facebook and Twitter, and thanks for watching.